Hi, I'm Ron Halbreder, Technical Advisor for Legendary Auto Interiors, and I'd like to welcome you to Legendary Studio, where today we're going to show you how to install our 1969 Camaro standard seat. Now, you can use this film as a guideline for installing any 67 through 69 Camaro standard seat. Now, today what we're going to do is take our seats and show you from bare springs to molded foam to our installation kit three, which includes our burlap and paper coated listing wire and our two inch felt and our muslin to create a seat that looks just like this one here. So with the help of Randy Brown and Legendary Auto Interiors, let's show you why Legendary Auto Interiors is number one with collectors, restorers, and enthusiasts worldwide. Our first step will be to anchor the burlap over the top of the seat springs. You wanna trim out any areas where it looks like the burlap is gonna buckle. You wanna trim off any excess. Pull some tension on the burlap so it's nice and tight and hog ring it around the outside perimeter of the seat springs. This will provide some extra support. After the burlap is attached, on the front seat bottom, you wanna attach the two inch felt all the way around the outside perimeter. Space your hog rings about every two to three inches apart. After your burlap is finished, trim the foam along the inserts, set the molded foam on top of the seat springs and take a black Sharpie and draw on the top of the burlap. This will be your anchor points for your paper coated listing wire. You wanna bend the ends so the listing wire does not travel front to back. You wanna anchor the paper coated listing wire around the paper coated listing wire, through the burlap and around the seat springs. General Motors cars have a layer of cotton over the top of the burlap. You want to carefully split the cotton apart exactly where the paper coated listing wire that you just attached. Our next step, set the foam on top of the cotton and anchor the foam along the back edge first. Move along to your front edge you want to wrap the muslin around the cotton, put a hog ring through the muslin and around the seat spring. You want to do your sides last. You want to tuck up underneath the side posts. You see how you get a nice uniform edge all the way around the entire perimeter. Now that our bottom is finished, we can move along our top. First step will be to set the burlap over the top of the seat springs, pulling some tension on the burlap so it's nice and tight. You want to anchor the bottom edge and the top edge, and then finish off the sides. Notice the burlap looks clean and crisp and tight. That's going to give your seat a nice, firm look to it and feel to it. After our burlap is attached, you want to cut the channel that the cover slides down through the foam. You want to set it over the top of the burlap, draw around on top of the burlap where our paper coated listing wire is going to attach. Now it's very important on the ends that you want to bend that at a 45 degree angle and then carefully bend around where you've just drawn the line and hog ring around the paper coated listing wire through the burlap and around the seat frame. You notice Randy has it along the bottom edge where that 45 degree angle is. And repeat the process on the top as you did on the bottom, putting a layer of cotton and splitting the cotton exactly where the paper coated listing wire is. Now you can split it with your hands or cut it with the scissors like Randy's doing. Then you want to set the molded foam over the top of the cotton and then secure it to the seat frame doing the top edge and then finishing off doing the sides. Now you want to carefully do this on the backrest you want to fold the muslin over the top of the cotton and the molded foam and make sure you have a nice, clean, crisp look to it. It's just going to enhance the look of your seat cover. And you'll be able to tell what your seat cover is going to look like just from how you have your molded foam. It's a good idea to dry fit your cover before you hog ring the listing pockets down through the molded foam. You want to line the front piping edge and the perimeter sides. Turn the cover inside out and hog ring the channels down through the listing pockets on both sides. 
Our first step in installing the cover will be to wrap the corner along the front edge and then gradually work towards your back edge. You can work the vinyl, work any wrinkles, make sure the piping is all turned in the same direction so you have a uniform look. I'm going to come over, secure the seat cover so it doesn't rip while you're wrapping the other side over. Now you can compress the molded foam as you're working the seat cover over and shove the foam up underneath the seat cover while you're installing it. And remember to carefully work the vinyl towards the back edge of the seat and make sure all the piping is turned in the same direction and you can work the vinyl with your hands. Might be a good idea to hang on to the sewn seam while you're wrapping it over the corner edge. Now before you attach the front three quarters of the seat cover, you want to make that anchor hog ring. Pull your seat cover over the top. Now this seat traditionally has hog rings in this area, but this particular model has a small plastic piece that interlocks with the seat frame. So it's very easy to install. It actually clips, folds over the top of the metal and clips underneath them a channel in the seat frame. And you can press the springs down while you're doing this. You want to flip the seat cover back over, you can work out any wrinkles. Now you see how good the seat cover looks, and this is even before any heat is applied or any steam is applied. Now if it looks asymmetrical, you want to reapply the process. You can always take the seat apart and restart it over again. Now on the back section of the seat, there's a stretch panel board that goes underneath the vinyl. This will protect your seat cover against the seat springs. Then you want to tuck your edges, fold the flap underneath the seat frame and hog ring it right to the seat springs. Now you see the side skirt actually has a post that is poking through the vinyl. You want to be careful not to set the seat on its edge before you cut those sections out. You'll see Randy is carefully taking a razor blade and cutting a small hole so the seat post can be trimmed around so when you slide your front seat top onto your front seat bottom it doesn't grab any of your vinyl. And that finishes off your front seat bottom installation. Now moving on to the top, you want to measure your seat cover for your center point and do the same thing with the foam. That way when you start to install your seat cover at the top, you can be sure that the seat cover is installed symmetrically. Now again, you want to turn your seat cover inside out and then start at your center along the top edge and periodically check your seat cover as you're going to make sure that you don't have any wrinkles that are going to be very obvious. If the seat cover is installed asymmetrically, you're going to have wrinkles right away. You want to start at your top edge and then work your way around the corner down to the bottom edge of the seat. You want to repeat the process on the opposite side and place the hog rings about every three inches apart. And then just like we did on the front seat bottom, you want to start at the top edges, Grab your vinyl, work your vinyl so there's no wrinkles in it, starting at the top corner and working your way down around the bottom edge. You just carefully want to get the cover wrapped around with the foam pushed up underneath the seat cover so it fills the seat cover out. And you can work the vinyl as you're doing it. Tuck your molded foam up underneath the seat cover so it fills it out real nice. Flip it over, make an anchor point on the bottom side edges. This will tell that you have your seat cover down far enough. The piping on the bottom edge needs to match or run parallel with the bottom edge of the seat frame. Then you can come up along the top edge, anchor the top edge, and then finish with your sides. Now you can tell just by the sides if you don't have any wrinkles in the vinyl, how your seat cover is going to look on the front side even before you flip it over. If it looks good on those sides, chances are it's going to look good on the front edge as well. Last, what you want to do is fold the bottom edge in between the posts up over the top of the seat frame and anchor it to the seat frame, making sure that the seat latch hole goes over the top of the post and then gets hog ringed to the bottom edge of your seat frame. And any small little details, you can come back and Tuck a piece of vinyl here and put a hog ring through it. 
just so cosmetically it looks really nice. As soon as you flip that over, you need to apply any heat or you have any major wrinkles, you'll know that something has gone wrong and you'll need to reapply the process. Now the seat adjustment post is attached after your seat cover is attached. Sometimes it's a good idea to leave this hardware in, but this washer is so big that it's difficult to cut around it after your seat cover is on. Randy's locating the holes where the seat catch bolts to the seat frame through the seat cover. Maybe a good idea to put the bolts into those locations before you put the seat cover on if the bolt is not large enough where you have to cut a huge hole to locate it. But if you leave one seat intact while you're reupholstering the new cover, you can get a guideline of where those bolts need to go and you'll find the location much easier. So after your seat cover is on and you're happy with the way it looks, attach all your hardware and that should complete your seat cover installation. Well, hopefully this video has been very helpful. You can see the seat cover is on, it looks beautiful. Now we'd like to thank all the people that made this possible. We'd like to thank Randy Brown, all the people at Legendary Auto Interiors, and most of all, we'd like to thank you. Now if you want to have the professionals at Legendary Auto Interiors do this work for you, give us a call at 1-800-363-8804 or click on our website at www.legendaryautointeriors.com. I'm Ron Helbretter for Legendary Auto Interiors. We'll see you next time.